The ZX Spectrum was launched in April 1982. As you can see from this video inside Prudential's offices in Chicago, in 1982 computers were only used in a few business areas, such as accounts. Many employees were still using pen and paper and getting their documents typed up for them by secretaries who were using electronic typewriters. Although in larger organisations like this one, there might have been word processors too. The IBM PC was only eight months old with an entry cost of well over a thousand pounds without a floppy disk and monitor. That's at least four thousand pounds in today's money. Nobody I knew had a computer at home and I hadn't had the chance to use one. I was 22, excited and eager to learn how to use a computer and understand exactly what this thing was. Just to think, I'd used a slide rule, not a calculator, to do complex calculations whilst at school. The 48K ZX Spectrum, priced at only £175, made my dream possible. When I got my Spectrum, a key application I wanted to understand was the spreadsheet. The first one, VisiCalc, had been invented only three years earlier. The second multiplan was only about a year old, and Lotus 123 had only recently been launched. VUCalc was amongst the first programs available for the Spectrum, and the first spreadsheet I encountered. After a while, I moved on to OmniCalc with more functionality. I never did anything mind-bogglingly complicated, but familiarising myself with the concept meant I was well prepared for using spreadsheets from the moment I was confronted with one at work. For a bit of nostalgic fun and to keep my old grey cells active in retirement, I've returned to OmniCalc 2 on my Spectrum Next. I'm using it to calculate the amount of income I need to cover my annual household expenditure, review my household water usage, and estimate how long different levels of savings will last, assuming different levels of interest and inflation. All pretty simple, but nevertheless a little challenging as well as fun. Doing this has also made me reflect on the fact that the spreadsheet is still one of the most used computer applications in business today, more than 40 years later. Right, so let's boot up the Spectrum next and just have a quick look at the spreadsheets that I put together for fun. Just loading OmniCalc 2. There it is, that's the first screen you see. And now I've actually got to load an actual spreadsheet. The one I'm going to show you here is Home Bills. I don't need to verify it. Up comes Home Bills. It's a very simple spreadsheet. The first column here you've got the various items of expenditure. And here is their monthly cost on the uh, second column here. And I've just listed those. And here you get, very simply at the end, you get a total and um, you can actually see what that function is there it says CT for column total and the only other thing here in, that I've done is that where I have a yearly cost like here for life insurance um, I put a formula in here to divide it by 12 to make it a, a monthly cost and there you are, you can see it's the standard sort of cell-like approach. It's AM2 divided by 12. I've also created a spreadsheet to monitor my uh, water usage. So let's load that one. Um, it's called water usage. I don't need to verify it and here it is again very simple one we've got the months in the first column because I'm taking a monthly reading of the meter and then uh, each month I have um, subtracted the meter reading from the month before so if you look at the uh, formula here it's very simple B1 minus A1. And if you go all the way down here, it's basically L1 minus K1, as you'd expect. 
very simple you get total here um, one other thing you can do with OmniCalc is create a graph um, so um, I've done that and I'll just show you that and here is the graph um, it can only produce a histogram um, as you can see you've got the amount of water um, on one axis you've got the months on the other axis and you can see that I'm using a, a little bit more water during the summer time because I'm using the hose spreadsheet I'm going to load uh, is called save last let's load that so save last don't need to verify it and what this is is doing is basically I'm saying if I've got a given sum of money and I invest it if I get a certain return on it whilst taking income out of a certain amount, how long will it last? In this case, I've started with £130,000 and taking £14,400 out each year. I've assumed in column A3 that I'll be able to earn 4% on the, those savings. Um, and I've also taken into account that I'll need to take more income each year just to keep uh, the value um, at the same real value um, by taking into account inflation. So in D3 I've put a, a column in there to take account for inflation. Um, what, we, what this shows is that um, after year 9, i.e. from year 10 onwards, um, I actually haven't got enough money left. Um, so let's see what that looks like on the graph. And this is what it looks like on the graph. As you can see, you've got the initial sum of money invested in year one, but as you take the income out of it, despite it giving you a return, you eventually um, run out of money um, in year 10. Thank you. 